Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I thought that I would make eggnog pie. So let's get going. So to start our eggnog pie out, we need to make a gingerbread crust. So I have a small bowl with a sieve and I'm gonna put in two cups of all-purpose flour into the sieve. Then I'm gonna add in, I have a whole bunch of yummy fall spices and also one, I have a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. But I have one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of allspice, a quarter teaspoon of clove, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're going to throw that into our sieve as well. And then we're just going to sift the flour. Then we're gonna give that a quick whisk. Next, we're gonna cream five tablespoons of softened butter. We're just gonna cream that for a couple minutes. So now that the butter is creamed, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of brown sugar and mix that together. nice and combined and it looks nice and fluffy. I'm adding in a quarter cup of molasses and I'm going to add in one egg. And we're going to mix this until it's nice and combined. All right, now that this looks like a horrifying mess, we're going to add in our flour mixture until it's just combined and this will get really, really thick. So now that we got this made, we're gonna put it on a well-floured surface. All right, so the best thing to do is get your hands with flour. And we're just going to kind of shape this into a ball. Like I said, it's very sticky, so you want to kind of move it around on your floured surface so it doesn't stick to the mat. We just need to make a ball, so we don't need to like really knead it or anything. All right, then we are going to wrap it in some plastic wrap. And if you plan on continuing this later, just fold this up and that way you have it for later. If not, go ahead and wash it. Now that we got this all wrapped up, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours. You can leave it overnight. Um, but this needs to be really nice and firm before we roll it out. So I like to test out these new recipes that I do and I found this recipe on Facebook, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, but then I got sick. So I, didn't, I made this like two days ago, it is very solid um, so hopefully I can roll it out but this is going to be the base of our pie so let's see it's pretty hard I might have to let it sit for a little bit so <laughs> So you can put this in a pie pan. Um, I'm gonna use my tart pan, um, just cause the one I saw on Facebook was in a tart pan, it looked nice. You're supposed to roll this out to about a quarter inch and then you can use the excess for topping. Let's see if I can. Ah, piece fell off, that's okay, so you can just kind of Smush in what you need. We're gonna lift this up and get it in all the corners. So I'm just kind of pushing it into the corners and then we can take these excess bits like this that fell off and kind of just stick it in, smush it in. We really wanna get really firm around the pie pan, the pie tin. So 
Now a quick way to get rid of the edge without cutting it is to simply use your rolling pin. You just go right over the edge. There we go. We have all this excess that we can use for decoration. And then we're gonna take our fork and we're just gonna prick it. Now we're gonna put this in the freezer for about 15 minutes while we're waiting for our oven to heat up. All right, so I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 and we're gonna let that sit in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and make our little um, gingerbread cookies or whatever to go on top of that. So I'm gonna use this small round one because I don't have one to make small stars and that way I can just kind of cut around them to make the small stars. Maybe I'll do four. And then I have a couple bigger stars that I'm going to use here. Do a couple big stars. I have a Christmas tree. Don't know if I'll be able to get one more. It doesn't look like it. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go, take a look in the five and ten, glistening once again, with candy canes and silver lanes aglow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, toys in every store, but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. The crust has been in the freezer for 15 minutes. I have the temperature on the oven at 350 and we're gonna bake this for 15 minutes. Okay, so I have parchment paper on a baking sheet and we're just gonna put these on here, nice flat layers. Have all my little stars here. Actually, I'm going to add the stars a little bit later because I think they're going to cook less time. So these can go in the same oven. I put the pie to the side and I'm going to put these in um, at the 10 minute mark because they'll cook about 10 minutes and then I might put these in at like the 7 minute mark just because I don't think they need as much time because they're smaller. So now that our gingerbread is out of the oven and it's just sitting here cooling, we're going to go ahead and make the filling. So as I said before, I was going to make this earlier in the week, but I got sick and so I just couldn't make it and I like to make things ahead of time to make sure I can work out the kinks. So I just finished making the insides, the filling, which you're not going to see because it came out a complete and total disaster. So I'm starting over again. Thank goodness I had enough for a second batch. So before I did my stand mixer and it just didn't work out, I think with my hand mixer, it'll be a lot more control for me. Um, so to start off, I have two tablespoons of water here and I'm just going to sprinkle a package of the powdered gelatin on top. It's about two and a half teaspoons. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. Do not mix it. I made that mistake. It turned out like rubber. Just sprinkle it on top and let it sit there for a few minutes. While that's blooming, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. We want it to be really fluffy. Okay. So this seems to have worked better because with my stand mixer, it was very clumpy still and I just couldn't get the clumps out. So I'm going to add in my seasoning and I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon nutmeg. And then I'm just going to add in my small liquids first just to make sure that this does stay nice and creamy. So I have one teaspoon of vanilla and two tablespoons of um, lemon juice. I'm going to mix that all up. Also make sure that your, your cream cheese, um, oh did I even tell you about the cream cheese? Oh, See this is how my brain's been going today. 
In here, I had one cup of cream cheese, so it's eight ounces, and it was room temperature. Um, good Lord. It's been a long day. And now I'm going to add in one cup of eggnog. Makes it our eggnog pie. And I'm going to go ahead and add in, this is one can or 14 ounces of condensed milk. Just give that a quick mix. Oh yeah, this is night and day to what the batter looked like before. Before it was all chunky and gross, and I just should have used my hand mixer to begin with. All right, so I have my two tablespoons of water with the two and a half teaspoons of gelatin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in two more tablespoons of hot water. Um, my faucet's been running all day, so it's nice and hot. But you could do it in the microwave if you don't want to wait for your water to heat up. Probably as good as it's gonna get. I'm just gonna throw it in here. Hopefully, it won't get all chunky on me. So now I'm going to dump it in my tart pan. I hope it fills it completely. So if you make this in the morning, you could probably have it for dinner at night. But it does have to uh, sit for quite a while. So since it is four o'clock here, um, this is gonna go into my refrigerator and it's not gonna come out again until it is time to uh, eat it, probably dinner tomorrow. So it has to sit overnight, unless you make it in the morning, then you probably have it for dinner. All right, so now I'm gonna do the sugared um, cranberries. And I have three tablespoons of water here. And I'm adding in three tablespoons of sugar. I'm just gonna mix that up. And I'm heating that up so that the sugar disintegrates. Okay, it looks about where the sugar has disintegrated, so I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to put my berries in. I'm just going to mix them up for a minute or so. Get them all nice and coated with that yummy sugar water mixture. Spread them on here. We're just going to let these sit at room temperature for about an hour. Alright, so now that these have been sitting out for about, well, mine's been sitting out a couple hours. I had dinner. But um, we're just going to pick these up with a fork. That way our fingers don't get sticky. Maybe we're going to pick them up with a fork. And we're just going to roll them around in some sugar. Just like that. There you go. And just proceed to do that with each one. And that gives us our nice sugared cranberries. Now once we've got these all rolled in sugar, we're going to um, place them in a bowl, put them in the refrigerator, and the sugar will harden. And then we'll be able to handle them. And this is just for decoration on top of our pie. If you don't uh, want to do this, totally optional. This bowl of sugared cranberries. All right, so this has been sitting overnight, so we're gonna go ahead and decorate it. I have my gingerbread cutouts that I made yesterday. I'm just gonna place them right on top. Any design you want. all of them they have the candied berries here just gonna throw that right on some powdered sugar that I'm just gonna sprinkle right on the top and 
There we go. Okay, so now that it's decorated, it is time for the best part, and that's the taste test. Um, it's not as firm as I thought it was going to be, because I've never made this before. So, as you can see, it's quite uh, runny. So, let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm. It is really good, though. I have that nice fall spicy flavors uh, with a little of that cream cheese flavoring. The graham cracker crust is really good, or the um, gingerbread crust is really good. But I, yeah, I wish the consistency of this was a little bit thicker. So I'm not quite sure how to fix that. But if you'd like to see more recipes and pastries and baked goods, please like and subscribe below. Have a great day, everybody.